What's up guys? Real quick before we get into this video, if any of you are interested in fishing a tournament for a good cause, I will put the flyer up on the screen for just a quick second so you can take a look at that, get the information. It will be taking place at Lake Sinclair coming up this weekend, guys. All right, guys. Hope to see you there. What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Going to hit the power button and let this start booting up. Um, once it gets to the uh, prompt where we'll ask you to hit the menu button, you want to go ahead and hit that so that you can go into simulator mode. So that should pop up in just a second here. All right, let's see. There we go. Press menu to uh, for startup options. So I hit the menu button. And then I want to go down to simulator, hit the right arrow key, and there we go. So now we want to press exit to continue. Let's hit the exit key. All right, guys. So the purpose of today's video for our electronics tip for this week is going to be the, the answer to the question of what views are available on your mega live systems. As everybody probably knows now, the Mega Live systems have began shipping out. If you look on the Facebook Mega Live page, you will see there's kind of like a frenzy going on right now. So everybody's rushing to try to get theirs. The guys that put in their pre-orders, they're making calls to the dealers and everything, trying to find find out when they're going to get their order in. Because some of the guys that did not pre put pre-orders in, they're able to find some contacts and just find some ways where they are snatching those up. But... Um, just wanted to say to you guys, please make sure you continue to support the channel. Hit the like button and um, just share these videos with uh, your friends. And if you have questions or comments, please make sure you uh, do get involved in the comment section. There's a lot of good information in there. I will link the video from yesterday where we talked about Mega Live and one or two other videos that we've done. And guys, always remember the comment section. There's a lot of good information in there. So make sure you do take the time to read the comment section and check the description because I'll put links to other pertinent information in there. But so for today, what I was saying is we are going to answer the question of what views are you able to see with a split screen with your mega live system so what you want to do is go up here and hold in this menu key that will take you to an another menu where you can see the option to go to sonar so this is a helix system so as far as i know the helix system is going to give you uh well the solix will give you the option of having a split screen with your mega 360 and also your mega live at the same time but the helix system does not offer that um offer that option if anyone out there has the solix system and they know anything different than that please make sure you leave that down in the comments and any other pertinent information that you feel may help some of the guys out so like i said let's press in this uh hold on one second hit this exit key to exit out of here going to hold in this menu button when that comes up we're going to go to sonar hit the right arrow key and what this is going to do is show us the menu where you can see all of the options for the views that are going to link up with the sonar so as we go down here you will see that you have mega Live, the main mega live view so let's just take a look at that that is going to show you just mega live only on the entire screen no split screen just full mega live all right, so let's just go back in here. So this is a shortcut key to get to that menu so that you can go to these options a little faster. So let's hold it in again, go to sonar, hit the right arrow key, and let's scroll down. So we just took a look at the Mega Live, uh, the Mega Live view only. All right, so let's keep going down and see what other options we have in here. All right, there we go. We got Mega Live and 2D. So if we get over to the Mega Live option on that one, then you see you have your 2D sonar and you also can see your Mega Live. And on here, just a, a little bit of quick information. If you hit the menu key and let's see, the options under here will allow you to go to the left or right screen. So this will pretty much be the same on all of the um, other screens. So we won't need to go through each option on those. But um, you can turn the Mega Live on and off. And what I was looking for was to see if there is a way to determine 
how much um, space. So to change this split screen, maybe you want it to have more of your sonar on there. But let's see, active. And I do not see that option on here right now. So maybe that is not an option, but we'll check one more screen after this and see if maybe that is an option on there. But let's go back and exit out of there. Go back and hold in this view key again. That was 2D and sonar. So now we will go down and let's see 2D sonar right there. There's DI and Mega Live. Then we have Mega Live DI and 2D. So that's a pretty interesting one right there. Let's take a look at that. So there we go. So we have the Mega Live on the screen. We have our sonar, which is 2D. And we have the DI, our down imaging. So that is the split screen that will show all three of those. All right. So now let's just take a quick look under the menu options under that. So we can have the active pane where it will either show on the right side or the left side. It's currently on the right. So if we shoot it over to the left, then it'll highlight that and give you the options over here for um, your DI and your um, sonar. So again, I don't see anything that allows you to split the screen as far as if you wanted to make the uh, Mega Live a little bigger, or I mean, yes, a little bigger or a little smaller. So let's see, chart speed. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and put that back on the right side. Mega Live mode. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit the menu key again. Well, actually, let's exit out of here first. Hit the menu key, hold that in. And let's just continue down. All right, start from where we left off. There we go. We were on 2D, DI, and Mega Live. All right, so I don't see any more Mega Live options in here. There we go. So those are the Mega Live options that you have. You have the full screen. You have Mega Live and DI, Mega Live and Sonar, and Let's go ahead and exit out of here and let me show you this last one. So hold in this menu button again. And now we wanna go to chart. Hit the right arrow key and let's just do the same thing. As we go down, there you go. You'll see chart and mega live. And basically what that will show you is your mapping and mega live on the other side. So let's take a look at the menu under here and see if there's a way to adjust the screen size. Make a live mode. Nope, so this pretty much looks like it's going to be a set screen size whenever you're using a split screen with the Mega Live. So you can't make it a little bigger and make the mapping smaller. This is pretty much the size that it is going to be whenever you're using your Mega Live with a split screen. Actually, let me go down just a little bit further and see. Range grids, persistence mode, record. Oh, and that is going to be an option that I know a lot of guys will like. You can go out there and record the action, record how you're doing out on the water. Just make sure you put an SD card in, in your unit and you'll be able to record your, um, your, your fishing session out there and come back and look at that later, or upload it to YouTube or anything like that. You know, just add a little excitement to your day. So let's see, record make alive, range grids. Okay, so just the, the options that I did go over in another video, I will link that down in the description area. So like I said, if you guys have any questions or anything that you think may assist and help the other guy, the other guys that are getting their units, I do not have mine yet. This is simulation mode. So you guys that do not have your units yet, make sure you do the um, the 2.66 up, update that is also in the description. I have a link to that down there. So if you guys want to play around and get used to these settings, make sure you go ahead and get your unit updated. And that way you can do just like I'm doing, come out here and play around with these settings. So once you get your unit, you will already be uh, good to go. You will be familiar with your settings and everything like that. All right, guys. Really appreciate you tuning in, supporting the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and um, as always, leave comments. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video.